Hello guys, it's me, it's Comic Noob, and welcome to this comic book rant. Now this is going to be short and sweet, and before we get into it, I'd like to say this is really meant to not come across as a personal attack on anyone, or on any company, or anything like that. It's just something I've got to get in my chest, and it's really annoying me. So, first off, I was reading America's Got Powers, issue 3 of 5. I'm still catching up on a lot of comics. This was fantastic. This was brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Nothing bad against this book. However, nothing to do with America's Got Powers or any of the writers for it. If if you've read com Image Comics, you'll know at the back of pretty much all the comics every month, they have a kind of get to know the writer, get to know the, the artist. I think they call it the third degree. If you haven't read it, they basically ask these artists, writers, you know, 15 to 20 bog standard generic questions. For me personally, I find it good because I get to have an insight into some new artists, new writers, and I kind of go back, I go and check their work. Um, I th like to think that I invest my time in this and I get something in return. Now, here's where it goes a bit frustrating for me. I was reading this. I was in a great mood, the comic was brilliant. I go to the I go to the end of the book and here we have here we have um the third degree with Howard Shacken, right? I've got nothing against the guy, I don't know anything about him, and I don't really care to see much else about the guy now that I've read this. Now, so they ask the bog standard generic questions and you normally get an insightful response. Um, which kind of intrigues you sometimes, you go, this is the kind of guy that I'd like to go and read more, and sometimes you don't. But at least up until now, I've appreciated the effort that practically all of them have went to in answering these questions. Now, not in this case. Nothing I get, as again, nothing against Howard Shacken, but I'm going to give you one question which sums up my point. So, the question. Name someone you really admire, and explain why. His response? No. What? You've got a prime time slot at the back of practically every image comic for the month of August, and that's it? There's more questions. I mean, some he does answer, but I mean, none of them go more than three, three or four lines. Only one's more than um, one line, really. The next one. Who is your best friend? Howard. Howard's response? Really? Now? Um, have we got more examples? I mean, this is a kind of, you know, put some effort into it kind of question. What would you like to see happen in comics in the next 12 months? Brilliant question, open to loads of answers. I could write an essay on that, I could write a blinking dissertation on that. Howard's response? Nothing in particular. And here's one that just, this is, this, this is, this is when I knew it was going downhill. What is the strangest thing you have in your house? Big Howie's response? Define strange? I mean, what a waste. I'm annoyed at two things. I'm annoyed that I've take, I've wasted my time reading it. I'm annoyed, this is three things. I'm annoyed that he's not really put any effort into it. I'd, and thirdly, I'm annoyed that Image even bothered printing that. That was an absolute waste. I'd rather have had nothing there than have wasted my time reading that. Ah, basically, that's someone taken for granted. There's, I'm sure there's many artists, many writers out there that, who would have probably went on their hands and knees for a slot like that in the back of practically every Image comic in August, and they put that in. I mean, I just, it just annoys me because while I'm not a comic book artist, while I'm not a writer, I know the lengths and efforts that all these people have to make to just break it into making their own wee book, let alone working for DC, Image, all those. And you've got a guy like that who's just taking it for granted that he's got a prime time slot in Image. Oh, 
why just why that's all I'm, that's all why why yeah sorry I know that was a pretty random wacky video um, not really meant as a personal attack against Howard I just feel that I've, I just I've, I've explained myself you know I'm uh, sorry I've just had to make this rant video it's annoyed me I, I'm hoping it's not just me that feels like that but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> oh I need to calm down